First of all, I want to thank you for clicking on this video. I want to keep this video short and to the point. A lot of videos go on and on and on and on and on. And I want to keep your attention span, so I'm going to make this video short. Um, <clears throat> something the Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning is how there are so many of us Christians that harbor unforgiveness. And unforgiveness is one of the many things that will keep us out of heaven, out of the throne room of God. And what he brought to my attention is how these people harbor this uh, unforgiveness, but that unforgiveness, that, that uh, those feelings don't come out until years and years later. You know, look at uh, Dallas Cowboy Ezekiel Elliott. You know, this ex-girlfriend did not come out with these allegations until what? He got his money. He made the NFL. See, people not only, uh, they harbor these things and they use it against you at times. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, later on down the road, they use it against you. You'll get into a new relationship and an ex will come and talk to that new girlfriend and tell that new girlfriend everything about you and what to look out for and might even have evidence of things that you've done in the past. It's, uh, it's a way to sabotage. Don't sabotage somebody's life because of mistakes that they've made in the past. You know, we all do wrong. We all make mistakes. And if somebody has done wrong to you, you know, hopefully they will do the right thing at some point in time and ask you for your forgiveness. And when someone asks you for forgiveness, you need to forgive them. That does not mean that you have to go on being friends with them or keep them close to you, but forgive them and truly mean that in your heart. Truly forgive that person. Understand that forgiveness is not for the person you're forgiving. Forgiveness is for you. It's to get that thing off your chest so that you can move on with your life. So, Christ died and he forgave us of our sins. So that unforgiveness is something, like I say, that's going to keep you out of heaven, out of the throne room of God. So do not harbor unforgiveness against your neighbor, against your loved ones, but forgive them. Tell them verbally if you're able to. Text them, shoot them a message, whatever you need to do. Get that thing off your chest. And that, like I say, that doesn't mean that you have to all of a sudden spark up a new friendship once again with that person. doesn't mean that. It's getting it off your chest. You're doing the right thing, and you're moving on with your life with God. So thank you. If you, if you like this uh, video and the things I had to say, just comment below. Tell me what your thoughts are on unforgiveness. And if you like uh, this video, subscribe to my channel, Spirit Walker 79 and click on the bell so you'll be updated on new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.